hello. Happy, happy new year. Happy 2019. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for bringing in the new year with me. We are here in my brand spanking new fitness planner and it says every moment matters. Now, I will be 100% honest with you. This is not um, made to be a fitness planner. So, you know, uh, Recollections, Happy Planner, all the planner companies, um, Blue Sky Planners, uh, EC, all of them, they have fitness planners. I chose not to buy what is traditionally a fitness planner, to be very honest with you. Um, I am a Recollections fan um, in the planner world, but unfortunately, Recollections did not come out with a medium or large size fitness planner. They came out with a mini fitness planner. And the mini is about this size. So you see the difference. This is not a fitness planner. This is just a regular planner, but I just want to show you size wise. I could not use something this small to write down everything I do fitness wise. Um, not that I'm out there, you know, busting my butt being like the fitness guru or whatever, but I still need space to write down my meals as well as my workouts. And something that small doesn't allow me to do both. It's like a one or other type thing and I wanted to do both. So I took a regular schmegular uh, vertical planner and I decided to convert it into my fitness planner. And that is what we're doing today. If you wonder what that is, it's a weekly meal plan that I got. Um, here you go. So you can see it a little better. On the back, it's just some blank space. But you can write down notes, to-dos, things like that. On the front, it has your weekly meal plans. Monday through Sunday. Bam. All right. But... The reason I chose to use this as my fitness planner, because nine times out of 10, a fitness planner goes in the vertical motion. Just to be honest, you'll have your meal prepping up on top and then your workouts on the bottom. Um, usually it's broken up into two sections. This one has three. I thought it would be cool to do that um, this time around because of the fact that most days I do two different types of workouts. So I'll do weights and then I'll also do cardio. So at the top, I can still add my meals in. I may have to write a little smaller, but it's worth the space that I'm gaining when it comes to being able to actually detail my workouts. So in this upper portion, I can put the workouts that I do weight-wise. So I can write down the actual weight work workouts that I'm using or doing. So it's like if I'm doing... um the bench or the pull down bar or curls, you know, bicep curls or tricep curls, I can write all that information here. And then I can write down my cardio information. Like if I'm doing um, the elliptical or a cardio class or maybe like running around the block, I can record that information here as well. So it does allow me more space to be a ton bit more detailed. And I thought that was completely totally awesome especially if i just had to give up a little space that i'm writing you know i ate oatmeal for breakfast and you know a protein bowl for lunch and then like maybe like a protein shake for dinner i don't need a ton of space to write down what i'm eating because i'm not eating a ton of things like i'm keeping it nice and simple so i can stick to it but nonetheless we are working on the monthly spread today and to do that I have some cool uh, workout washi or fitness washi that I got from Michaels. And then I have these really cool workout stickers that I want to use. So they did come out, I think it was about December of last year. They came out with these this new Healthy Heroes um, sticker book from the Happy Planner. And I don't know if you have, see, I marked off all the stickers that I want to use. Yes. So I don't know if you've actually gotten to take a little gander at it, but there it is really quickly. Let me just flip it one more time for the people who want to catch what I'm throwing out. Yes. So we have all this wonderful goodness going on. And then this is just a little sticker booklet that I got from Michaels as well from Recollections. Let's do it this way because it was a little easier to see. Uh, there we go. Nice. And then the same 
little packet that I got this from came with these stickers as well. And you see there's some really good fitness stickers going on and some awesomeness. Yes. So we're going to be using a combination of everything. A little bit goes a long way to be honest, and uh, no offense to the January, but I already know it's January, I already know it's 2019, and I'm more interested in getting my awesome washi down and ready to go. Bam, all right. Awesome. So, let's get our washi popping. So, this washi says, feel the burn, cheats and sweets, it's a lifestyle, gold made. And I thought it'd be some great inspiration to start off the year with. You feel me? All right, so I'm just gonna slowly but surely. There we go. Get the, get it down. Ha, yes. And what I'm gonna do is because I'm gonna start off the next side on an actual thing, I'm gonna cut it a little short. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna bust out my scissors and cut it a little short. Bam. Ha. And then we're gonna get started on this side as well. Alrighty. And there we go. There we go. Uh oh, I can cut it. So, bam. All right, so that worked out perfectly. And then I thought it would be cool to just add, like, this washi has, like, different fruits and vegetables. I thought it'd be cool to add that, just, you know, a little bit throughout. If I could find the beginning of it. Here we go. On the avi. The avocado. Ha ha. Alright, so I'm just putting it down. Just a little here, a little there. Maybe down here on the bottom too. What, what? Yeah, all right. And then, I don't know, just get funky with it on this side. Uh. All right, so I'm liking how that looks. It's a little wild, a little funky, a little fun, and a little bit for everyone. Woo! See, see how I made that work? You like that? You see how I made that work? All right, so nonetheless, let's get some stickers going. So, I did, oh, not that one. So, I did want to give myself some nice little inspiration over here, right at the top. And it says, work it, girl. See, work it, girl. And I'm like, yes, I'm going to work it. How cool is that? Alrighty. And 
feel the burn, see the success. I just wanted to do some inspo over here for the month. How about this for a never quit? Actually, I'm going to put another size. I actually like that here. Doing this for me. So it's not about anybody else or what someone else looks like. Here we go. I'm going to add a little color. Strong is the new beautiful. You are beautiful no matter what they say. Make it happen. <laughs> and, oh, I'm going to put never quit. Here we go. Never quit. Bam. All right, let's see what we got going on in here because I'm about to go all types of crazy. Oh, my gosh. I wish I could show you, like, all the awesome workout gear that I bought. Well, I mean, not that I went crazy just for the sake of going crazy. I'm going to be honest with you. My workout clothes were hot mess. Hot mess. I've had them forever. Everything's fading. Looking crazy. So, um, Victoria's Secret had an amazing sale on workout clothes. Um, pants, sports bras, the whole nine yards. So, I carpeziumed it. And I got some really cool things at some amazing prices. Yes, yes, yes. And because my siblings are beyond awesome, I got a new pair of sneakers. They hooked your girl up with a new pair of kicks. And I am going to be so fly. So fly. That's right. So, this is my ode to all of my new workout equipment. Well, not equipment. I'm sorry. Not workout equipment. An ode to my new workout gear. I wanted to put that there, but then I'm going to crush my sneakers. So, I thought this was a really great reminder to take more standing breaks. Um, if you're anything like me and you work in an office, oh my goodness. You're sitting all the time. Um, I went and got the Galaxy Watch. So it does have little reminders to make sure that I get up or I'm getting active um, at least once an hour. But I really want to do that a little bit more and I don't want to be prompted for it, to be honest. So I thought that was really awesome that they had a sticker for it. It says take more standing breaks. You got to get up. You got to do things. You got to get out there, basically. And that's what I'm trying to do. This is think positive or positive thinking, positive outcomes. And I think that's really important for us to remember. Not only that, but to remember to take it little by little. So, yes, we will set goals for the month, like absolutely positively, no fast food, and to drink more water. Um, and then we do things to help us achieve those goals. So, for this water goal, I went and got a gallon of water, just a plastic uh, gallon container, and I keep it at my desk. So every morning I fill it up and I'm making sure that I'm drinking the gallon in the eight, nine hours that I'm at work. So that's how I plan to achieve to drink more water. I will be honest, some days I do, some days I don't, but I just realized I wanted to put something else here. I'm hoping this comes up. But I still go ahead and fill it up the next morning. Um, let's put that here. Right here. Drink more water. Also something that I need to remember when I'm in the house as well. Here we go. This is what I wanted to put here. Positive things to note. And I thought that would be really awesome to get going right there. As something for the month. And then here's this. 
do it for you. All right. Oh, gosh. And this says, don't stop until you're proud. Oh, and I definitely plan to make myself proud of everything that I do. Ain't nobody gonna stop me. All right. I do have a couple of more things that I want to get in. Um, where is the... I don't remember what I did with the, um, you know, the wellness checks. Let's get those popping off. So here I have my fitness stickers and I'm going to put my um, wellness stickers in here. The wellness report stickers, you know I love those. And this is just to make sure I'm eating my veggies, taking my vitamins, getting some sleep, and drinking some agua water that is and then where is the one that i love you know we got to record our weight unfortunately but there is going to be a time Ooh, i like this little activity lab there is going to be a time or for thursday that works out where i am not going to mind stepping on the scale and i promise i cannot wait for those days hello where the heck are they I don't think they were this far back. And I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm just going through to find the actual little scale. Oh, here we go. Actual little scales. And I want to do a mid-month check. So I'm going to hit it up here. Okay. There we go. So, now, for the month of January, I like to stay out of the gym um, because as we know, it can be a little crowded in the beginning of the year, um, with people testing out to see if the gym works for them, to see what equipment works for them and things like that. So it gets rather crowded and there's a lot of people standing around waiting. There's a lot of people like bumping into each other. You know, it's hard to get a parking spot. It's hard to get into classes. You have to be extra early, all that stuff with people just out there with their feelers, you know, seeing, is this gym going to work for me? Are these hours going to work for me? Is this equipment going to work for me? Are these classes going to work for me? So I tend to stay away from the gym. Not to knock anybody who's doing anything because I know a lot of people like to do that um, new year, new me. So while they do that and get that done, I get my Rocky Balboa on. And I mean, just like it. So I'm doing a lot of walking. I'm doing a lot of, you know, in-home workouts with my weights that I have here. I have 10, 5, and 3-pound weights. So I'm getting that on right, right in my house or right outside, like in the parking lot of my complex. I'm walking around the block. You know, I may walk to the store every now and then as opposed to taking my car. I'm doing all of that. So while others are figuring out how they want to work out and their fitness regimes that they want to get started. I got mine in play and I'm getting it on. So, and then maybe towards the end of the month, I'll start looking into what type of classes are offered at my gym to see if something's new, you know, old favorites to see if they're still there. That's what I'll do around the end of the month, probably like the last week of the month, or maybe, you know, maybe around the 20th, I might do that. To see actually what's going on and what I can get into. But what I'll do until this time arrives is, like I said, I'll just be, you know, getting my Rocky Balboa on, basically. So, like, I have weights um, that I got from my aunt, actually, so I didn't go out and buy weights. But before I actually got those weights, I was out there or in my house, not out there because I wasn't taking them outside. But I would work out in my house and I would use, like... Um, cans of tomato sauce or jars of tomato sauce. I would use like cans of beans or cans of vegetables, things of that nature to like really get my workout on. I was using anything on hand. I have my yoga mat so I can do my yoga, you know, in the morning, on the weekends, and I'm really getting it in. So that's what I'll put 
um, on my monthly spread. Just the general basis of the things that I want to do. And then weekly, I'll break it down into some great detail and into specifics. But here we are. This is what we have. And now you have like a little idea of how I function in the month of January with my workout and workout wise. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about my planner or about workouts or anything like that, feel free to drop a comment below. I also um, run a website geared towards health, fitness, fitness and wellness. That's on the road to fitness.com. We do, I do have a YouTube channel. There are links for a couple, well, not a couple, I got quite a few workout videos going on now. You can find all that on the website as well. The link will take you straight to YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to that as well. Hello, hello, hello. Um, but if you actually need some like real help when it comes to working out or getting your diet together and you want to make the lifestyle change, feel free to email me. Um, you can email me on my planner email or you can email me on my fitness email. Either one, I'm here to help you. Whatever you need, let me know and I'll definitely get back to you. Now, once we got all that done and we got you on track and ready to go, don't forget to head over to my social media, click the follow button, and then when you click the follow button, also go ahead and click the send message button and let me know that you saw the video. Um, you can ask me if you have any questions or anything like that, and we can get to chit and chatting. But in the meantime, in between time, later days.